Max NG7M here. This is just a quick video that will then uh, switch over to a full-on video that describes this uh, interesting little LED clock kit that I built. And I wanted to show it in relation to the K3, K3S in this case. And uh, this is for the crazy hams out there that want like uh, over-the-top precision clocks, you know, in their in their shack. This is way over the top, but um, once this segment ends here, I'll just morph right into the original segment I made that talks about the clock more in in detail. Enjoy. Hi, Max NG7. I'm here, and this is a quick video of a little project I just finished. It's a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero wireless clock, and it's totally an overkill. The Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi Zero, um, is fairly new. Is new. The wireless one is new this year, and so it's a full-on um, Linux distribution on the Raspberry Pi Zero, which is teeny tiny, and it's driven off of five volts. And um, the guy that designed this, it's on uh, Hackaday.io. If you go to Hackaday.io, you can look for the uh, um, Pi Zero W desk clock. Now the really cool thing is for those of us crazy about accurate time, the uh, full-on Raspberry Pi Linux distribution and the built-in Wi-Fi allows you to connect it to your Wi-Fi network and it has a full version of NTP running on it. I mean you can compile new versions of NTP. I then sync it against my GPS disciplined Odroid which um, is like crazy accurate so this gets you down into the uh, sub millisecond via Wi-Fi here so the other cool thing is you can control the brightness and the turn off the tenths of seconds or you know change the blinking LEDs but um, it's pretty cool this is like the uh, ham radio shack clock that um, is over the top accurate and so you can set it up above your your rig and operate JT69 or JT9 till your heart's content and complain about other guys transmitting or listening at the wrong time and compare it to your computer clock. But very cool project. Uh, it'll a little involved with um, Linux and the Raspberry Pi. It might throw some guys for a loop, but anyway, I've got some pictures. It's pretty cool. And um, I think the uh, guy that designed it did a nice job. Just search for uh, Nick Sayer, S-A-Y-E-R, and you'll find his projects on Hackaday.io. And um, have some fun. It's just it's just cool because you can, I mean, you could run a web server on it. You could run um, anything you want. And once you get it connected up to your Wi-Fi, you can just SSH into it, totally configure it, do whatever you want with it. You could make it a, a, a Stratum 2 NTP server if you wanted. You could actually hook up a uh, GPS and do PPS with it, then you have a Stratum 1 server. Uh, the little Pi Zero is a single core, one gigahertz, single board computer, um, an SBC. And um, I've got some experience with the Raspberry Pi 2 and um, Odroid. I've been playing around with that over the last couple of years. But anyway, pretty cool stuff. Um, and it's amazing what you can do with a little ingenuity. The, the case is kind of cool. Um, it's just like a laser cut wood case. Geppetto Electronics. I guess I should turn that around. Um, this will give you a concept of the size compared to my hand. You can actually cut open the back there to the GPIO pins and then stack them if you want. So you could put another ribbon cable or header out of the Pi Zero and do some other stuff with it too. But um, I got it for the clock and um, it's just kind of eye candy over the top accuracy without a GPS. Put it anywhere in your house, it's hooked up to your Wi-Fi and you're going to get super accurate sub millisecond timing there. And um, that's about it. Check it out. Raspberry Pi Zero W Desk Clock. You'll find uh, Nick Sayers webpage. So that's a shameless plug for him. And I think with the case and everything I ordered, I want to say it's about 70 bucks or something like that. You can buy it without the case. Um, you can probably buy the PCB 
for the LEDs and everything without the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero too. You could also use a, a full-on just Raspberry Pi with the two Raspberry Pi Two or or three, probably the Raspberry, you know, the original Raspberry Pi B or whatever. So anyway, check it out. Bye.